The episode opens with Kyber and his dog using a telescope to observe Ben place an order at Burger Shack from a neighboring rooftop. When Kyber sends his dog after Ben, the animal runs toward Burger Shack and changes. The earth trembles at Burger Shack, and Slamworm emerges. Ben changes into Diamond Head, so he may battle the beast. Slamworm escapes under the earth and manages to tunnel around Diamond Head when it is shot by Diamond Head with crystals. Diamond Head is flung upward as Slamworm leaps out from underneath him. Its mouth takes hold of Diamond Head, which strains to escape. Slamworm spits Diamond Head out when Diamond Head stabs his neck. He picks up his broken hand and looks down at the writhing Slamworm. While Kyber watches from a distance, Diamond Head surrounds Slamworm with crystal and calls for Slamworm to return with a whistle. Slamworm shrinks back and returns to Kyber's dog shape. After changing back into Ben, Diamond Head trudges back to the proto truck, dismayed to see that his food has been destroyed. Ben finds that Rook has been eating all along in the truck. Ben confides in Rook that he thinks extraterrestrial beings are being sent to murder him. He believes Dr. Animo has some of the blame. When Rook opens a Nemo's file, he finds that he is incarcerated. Ben and Rook quarrel at Plumber headquarters about whether or not Animo can plan the assaults from his cell. When Ben remembers how many times he has vanquished Animo, Rook thinks Animo is a harmless character. When they go inside Animo's cell, they find that Animo has vanished. Ben follows the ants back to a tunnel located behind the toilet after seeing that they are crawling about within the cell. Ben and Rook emerge into a sewer after making their way down the tunnel. Giant mutant ants are encountered by Ben and Rook when they are in the sewer. Ben realizes that the fire that the mutant ant is aiming at them is a Nemo's creation. When Ben attempts to change into swamp fire, he actually changes into Echo Echo. When Echo Echo cries out for the mutant ant to release Rook from its explosion, the ant runs after Echo Echo and replicates himself many times. Echo Echo and Rook go after the mutant ant. Echo Echo surrounds and destroys the mutant ant with a wall of sound after tricking it into thinking it is a clone. When the ant bursts, Rook shows up and Echo Echo changes back into Ben. Sadly, additional mutant ants show up and encircle them. The mutant ants abruptly leave. Following them, Ben and Rook discover that the animals are transporting heavy equipment and board one of the mutant ants for a trip. It's a desert where the mutant ants appear. Rook and Ben jump off. Ben thinks that Animo is within the enormous anthill that he has seen. Rook and Ben walk inside it. Rook wraps Ben and himself in ant pheromones just before Ben is ready to trigger the Omnitrix because he knows that the aroma will keep the mutant ants from attacking them. Ben feels repulsed. They approach the anthill, where a mutant ant smells them and leaves. Animo is stationed at a console atop a tower as Ben and Rook enter the anthill. Animo says he hadn't planned on murdering Ben yet and is shocked to see him. Animo claims that his gadget turns every ant on Earth into a gigantic mutant that he can control, but he has no knowledge of the aliens who have been assaulting Ben. Kyber arrives to the anthill with his dog, sending his pet into the anthill. Kyber does. Ben concedes that while Animo's scheme is intriguing, it must be thwarted. Ben is left to battle Animo while Rook spots ants carrying a Cormite power core and attempts to get it. Ben attempts to change back into Swamp Fire after telling Rook to hurry, but he turns into Wrath. Before attacking Animo, Wrath lashes out at the Omnitrix for converting him into the incorrect alien. Wrath swiftly eliminates Animo's mutant ants when Animo calls them forth to attack. Wrath is crushed as more mutant ants pile on top of him. Rook shoots the mutant ants off of Wrath and uses a cord to drag him away before the ants can destroy Wrath. Before he can say anything more, Wrath changes back into Ben and starts to shout at Rook while Ben changes into a new extraterrestrial that resembles a grasshopper and gives him the name Crash Hopper. Rook battles the mutant ants. Declaring himself the Ant King, Animo dresses like an ant. Unimpressed, Crash Hopper unintentionally bumps into a wall. While Rook fights ants, Crash Hopper jumps over Animo's tower and attacks him. Rook raises the stakes in grappling by using the power core. Animo and Crash Hopper engage in combat, with Crash Hopper using his amazing leaping abilities. Crash Hopper rushes up to Rook when he calls out to him. Rook claims he has enough power core explosions to wipe off the ants. Along with Animo, Kuiper's dog shows up. Kuiper's dog does not now belong to Animo, but it soon will. The dog changes into Mucilator, surprising Rook and Crash Hopper while dashing Animo. Animo attempts to use his helmet to control Mucilator, but it doesn't work. Animo charges the Mucilator. As Kyber looks on, prepared to call off the search, Crash Hopper lunges at Mucilator, but does little harm, and soon becomes lodged in one of Mucilator's sacks. Rook frees Crash Hopper by pulling with the proto-tool. When Mucilator assaults Crash Hopper, the tower comes on. 
when Crash Hopper smashes Anemo's mind control apparatus, the ants climb atop Musilator because they perceive an intruder. The ants are destroyed as Rook detonates the core. As Crash Hopper changes back into Ben and Rook captures Anemo, Musilator changes back into Kuiper's dog and flees. Disappointed, Kuiper's dog goes back to his owner, who is not upset. At the base, Rook concurs that Ben is not very concerned about a potential assassination attempt, and Ben understands that Kyber's dog has evolved into the ideal predator in order to take on Crash Hopper. The episode closes with Anemo promising to get revenge on Ben while he remains imprisoned.